Game of Thrones Season 2, Episode 8, The Prince of Winterfell. We haven't changed this up in a while, have we? So I'm assuming those two boys were the farmer kids or something. The ones they sent to help that guy when he said he, he needed help, but because Rob Stark army had all those people, all those like burgers. <laughs> but it still has a, a, a wolf on it. It doesn't have Theon's little symbol. So what's up with that? Well, I guess he hasn't really officially taken it yet. He's still going to deal with Rob. Right. Does Rob even know yet? No, right? No, Rob knows. Or does he? I don't know. Does he not know? I, I, I can't know. remember him knowing, but I would assume. Because I remember him saying specifically, he'll hang for this. Talking about Theon. Let, let us know, guys, but I'm very certain that he does. Yeah, someone, he did say someone had to hang he for goes, something. He'll hang for this. But I don't remember if it was like, I feel like they would be like more stressed about it. Well, they don't have a choice. They're at war. See all the ravens. ravens. So they might not know. Oh, look, it's his sister. Is it the 500 men? Right. They did show up in time. That's kind of respectful, I guess. But why is she doing that in front of everybody? Because they're saying, you're not in charge, little dummy. Mm -hmm. You're doing our housework for us. We just moved in. <laughs> oh, that's what that meant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basement buster. Why? It's the Prince of Winterfell. Why are you here? Envy isn't attractive. Envy. You should be proud of your brother's achievement. I took the great castle of Winterfell with 20 men. You're a great warrior. I saw the bodies above your gates. Which one gave you the tougher fight, the cripple or the six-year-old? Oh, what? Was it them? I treated the Stark boys with honor. By butchering them. Before I had to kill them, you I treated them. You seized their home what? as is your right. And you made them prisoners in their home and they ran away. Is that treachery? I'd call it bravery. Your little boy prisoners made you a promise and you got mad when they broke it. You know how valuable those boys were. Are they dead for real? I don't know. No, I just can't believe weak. it. You know what I'm saying? You I like... are weak and you're stupid. I'm warning you. Go on then. Warn me. Wouldn't it have showed us, like, the I'm capture? Men. How am I supposed to defend Winterfell with just this lot? You're not. I've come to bring you home. Father wants a word. Is this a joke? Winterfell is the heart of the North. Aye, it is. We're islanders, baby brother. Had you forgotten that? Our power comes from our ships. And now that you've decorated your walls with the bodies of the Stark boys, every man in the North wants to see you hanged. Yeah, when Rob Theon. Stark finds <laughs> out... He won't find out. We've killed all the ravens. We have all the horses. I've taken Winterfell. And I will keep Winterfell. Good luck, bro. Leave us. She said they take what they need. So she's saying him playing all those games with the Stark boys was wrong. Yeah, you shouldn't have done all that. You should have just took it and then let them live. Yeah, because they left. And she said it was brave they left. Theon, you're my blood. We both loved our mother, endured our father. You both took horseback together. <laughs> Come home with me. Don't die here alone. I don't intend to die. You were a terrible baby, do you know that? Bawling all the time, never sleeping. And one night you just wouldn't shut up, screaming like a dying pig. I wanted to strangle you. Oh my god. You looked up at me and you stopped screaming. You smiled at me. Don't die so far from the sea. Dang, she's basically saying go home. The Winterfell is not your home. Don't be standing up this place, you're gonna get killed. That's the message that I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I could be oh wrong. Oh my god. god. That's so creepy. Lord of bones. I've already got one, Crow. Don't need two. Mance will want to question this one. This one's just a little boy. Got him. What is the bastard of Winterfell, Ned Stark's son. Oh, that means something. Dang, how did she know that? Mance though? will want him. What does Mance want with a dead man's bastard? I think he'll want to decide for himself. He runs. I'll chop his balls off. He runs. I'll do it myself. Myself. <laughs> I love that. John don't love that. He don't <laughs> love nothing about that. <laughs> We're even now, Jon Snow. I couldn't do it. I had the sword in her neck, I just could I know. The others, they found your tracks fast enough. But they found us before we found you. So they're captured because John couldn't do it. Yeah, basically. I, that's why I sound like, you know, because I'm always like, man, chop her head off. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just sound so terrible, but it's because, man, like, <laughs> it's real life out there. What's her name? Pray, I suppose. And you're marrying her for a bridge. An important bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was before they killed my father. I still thought I could march south and rescue him in time, but only if I crossed that bridge. Oh, wow. That expired, but you still have to... Yeah. They all loved your father. He was a damn good man. Yes. He's the best man I ever met. R.I.P. He once told me that being a lord is like being a father, except you have thousands of children, and you worry about all of them. Oh. Farmers plowing fields are yours to protect. The charwomen scrubbing the floors yours to protect. He told me he woke with fear in the morning and went to bed with fear in the night. I asked him, how can a man be brave if he's afraid? And that is the only time a man can be brave, he told me. Wise words, Ned. I wish I could have met him. He would have liked you. Bye. <laughs> 
Most lords worry more about their gold and their glory than the charwoman scrubbing their floors. You think I'm fighting this war so they'll sing songs about me? I want to go home. I want the men following me to go home. And why don't you? Because I believe in justice. Chopping off Joffrey's head. That would be a start. I agree. You just don't know. You just don't know him, Talisha. Yeah, that's two Bs, y'all. You just don't know Joffrey. You would feel the same. The Kingslayer. He escaped in the night. What? How? Again. How is he slipping away so Man, much? Tell me this isn't true. She let him go? <gasps> the girls. For the girls. You me. Rob. No. Oh. You knew I would not allow it, and you did it anyway. Bran and Rickon are captives in Winterfell. Sansa and Arya are captives in King's Landing. I lost one son fighting by your son's side. I lost another to the King's Slayer. So you commit treason. Oh my god. Your children are prisoners. Man, watch your mouth. I'll be saying treason. I grieve for your sons, my lord. I don't want your grief. I want my vengeance. And you stole it from me. Oh. Killing Jamie Lannister would not buy life for your children. That is true. Returning him to King's Landing may buy life for mine. I mean, that's facts right there, Mrs. Stark, but... This plays you for a fool. I know, though. You've weakened like... our position. You brought discord into our camp, and you did it all behind my back. Make sure she's guarded day and night. Rob. How many men did we send in pursuit of the Kingslayer? Forty, your grace. Send another forty with our fastest horses. Oh my gosh, oh, man. This wow. hurts my feelings right here. I know, because isn't he known because he's so good at, like, war strategy and, like, this, like, weakens everything? Yeah, well, he's he's basically saying, man... That's his trade-off. Well, he hurts because there's one person on this earth he can go into that tent and honestly talk to, and he's betrayed by her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she feels like she's she's doing her best to save her daughter, you know? I'm Jamie Lannister of Castle Rock. Brienne of Tarth. Tarth? 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 <laughs> moons and starbursts. Selwyn Tarth, your father. <laughs> it's a long way to King's Landing. Might as well get to know one another. I mean, I'd punch him in the back of the head. I know. Horses? Ah. <clears throat> Didn't mean to give offense, my lady. Forgive me. Your crimes are past forgiveness, Kingslayer. Why do you hate me so much? Have I ever harmed you? You've harmed others. Those you sworn to protect. Has anyone ever told you you're as boring as you are ugly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think she's ugly at all. He's so mean to her. You think you could beat me in a fair fight? I've never seen you fight. Shoot, she might. <laughs> there are three men in the kingdoms who might have a chance against me. Tell me, you're right? Not one of them. All my life, men like you've sneered at me. And all my life, I've been knocking men like you into the dust. If you're so confident, unlock my chains. Let's see what happens. But for what? Who would do that? Maybe one day we'll find. Find out, King Slayer. Dang, that sucks. I have to go on a voyage in a boat with this guy, Malvi. So they're about to go on like a little mission across the <laughs> land together. That would suck if you're her. I know. <laughs> He's so sneaky. It's not too late for King Joffrey and Cersei and the court to ride west to safety. Surrender the Iron Throne. Better than seeing their heads mounted on the city gates, Stannis will execute them all. A king who runs will not be king for long. He's a Lannister. He'll stand and fight. Stannis, two days from the capital and the wolf at my doorstep. The last time the scouts assured us of Stark's movement, he lured us into a trap. Which is why my son is his prisoner. That'd be crazy to be Arya, dude. I know. She has to sit there and listen to that with a straight face. He sent a splinter force to recapture Winterfell. The Greyjoys have done us a great favor. Stark won't risk marching on Casterly Rock until he's at full force. He's a boy and he's never lost a battle. He'll risk anything at any time because he doesn't know enough to be afraid. The experience. The understanding of the human nature. Love it. We'll ride at nightfall. <gasps> I want a full night's march before he knows we're on the move. Clegane? You'll maintain a garrison here at Harren Hall. Track down this brotherhood and destroy them. The girl's proven herself a good servant. She'll stay on with you. See that he doesn't get drunk in the evenings. He's poor company when he's sober, but he's better at his work. <laughs> so he must, he mustn't know that she's a Stark, because why would she leave her? Either that or maybe he just said all that just to fool her, just to like see, which would be, you know, probably not, but. Look it, Yoren's little. You used to be a boy, now it's a girl. Where's Jacken? Don't care. Time to kill some wolves! Time to kill some wolves. They're just so, like, obviously evil. Time to murder. <laughs> Where's Jacken? <laughs> need him. He's helping me. I saw him. Where? Where? Ow. They're rushing out the gates a few hours ago. On patrol. I kept going my ears. Why did she just grab on him like that? She's bullying him up now. He used to be so tough. Oh, gosh. That's so stressful. They're going into war against your family, and you just have to stand there. Poor girl. I couldn't imagine. Right. They look like a bunch of ogres, too. They'll never trust me. They might. How does it feel knowing those men all died? You could skip through the snow with your little savage girl. Mm -hmm. Bastard! <laughs> It's not yours to kill. That's some good acting right there. I know. That's better acting than the acting. <laughs> oh, she has the sword look. Do you have to do that here? 
I like to keep my hands clean. <laughs> But do you have to do it here? I like their dynamic for some reason. They're like brothers. You should start wearing a gold cloak. I don't want to wear a gold cloak. It's funny because he works for Tyrion, but he just like really bucks the system a lot. I know. He's like edgy. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not sneaking through alleyways any longer. You're supposed to stand out. We had a deal. And wearing a gold cloak wasn't part of it. Fine. <laughs> no gold cloak. He's like, I do my job, man. Don't make me wear that thing. He said, I'm just fine with these dark colors right here. <laughs> what? What? Why are you staring at me? Why am I here? To help me plan the defense of King's Landing. <laughs> Stannis will be here any day. That's all they're, that's all they're doing? <laughs> Look how many books they have. Like, jeez. An history of the great seizures of Westeros by yeah. Archmaster Sh Shevelethan. You should have read that a long time ago, though. That's like a lifetime <laughs> <You're> like <late. laughs> thing. He's cramming for a war. <laughs> I'd swap all your books for a few oh. arches. I must compliment you on the gold cloak's performance these last few weeks. Did you know there has been a marked drop in thievery? Me and the lads rounded up all the known thieves for questioning uh no <laughs> have you ever been in a city under siege the poor start eating each other the thieves they love a siege they steal all the food by the time it's all over they're the richest men in town wow braun with the strat stannis knows king's landing he knows where the walls are strongest and he knows which gates are weakest put that bomb stuff in it the wildfire or whatever it's called mm -hmm. minutes it's only 50 yards from the water that's where he'll land stannis does attack the mud gate what is our plan we could throw books at his men <laughs> we don't have that many books what do we have pig shit <laughs> he said it like he was gonna use it like build a bomb or something <laughs> sam i'm not cut out for this sort of work <laughs> I always imagine myself doing something much worse. <laughs> Digging latrine pits at the end of the world. I can't imagine anything much worse. You lack imagination. Yeah, for real. Where do you think John is right now? A betting man would go with dead. He's not dead. <laughs> no. John's a great fighter. Well, he's better than me. And a lot better than you. <laughs> he's got a Valyrian steel sword. So did his father. Oh, and Corey yeah. Hoffman's the greatest ranger alive. Great rangers never get old is the problem. Shit ones neither. Right. Same in the middle. <laughs> Lost a long time. What in seven hours is that? Oh my gosh. What is this? A stone? That's interesting. The first men made these marks. What? Help me with it. That thing's been there that long? Yeah. Ooh. What's up under there? Look. What is that? Best thing to do. Pretend you've never seen it. That's a Night's Watch cloak. It's been here a long time. <gasps> what is that? Why do you jump like that? Because I thought I saw claws. It must be dragon glass. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Is obsidian. It's like a arrowhead. That's cool. My brother had it here. I bet it's because he wanted somebody to find it. Who? Who's the hell? Someone in would the find Night's that? Watch. Probably never find that. That's like Me going either. to Alaska and just digging a hole. Darling. Oh, don't smack her in the head. I'll smack you in the head. Where were you? A man has patrolled your teeth. <laughs> a girl owes one more name. The red god demands it. How long after I give you the name does it take you to kill someone? It's Tyrone Lannister. Oh my god. An hour, a month, death is certain. The time is not. He's taking his army to attack my brother. I need him dead right now. Yeah, good luck. man cannot do. I promise you'd help me. That was not promised, lovely girl. There must be others. And you'll kill them, anybody. By the seven new gods and the old gods beyond counting, I swear it. <laughs> All right. Who does she got? Jack and Hagar. Whoa. Himself? The girl gives a man his own name. Right. That's right. This is no joking thing. Unname me. No. Please. I'll unname you. Dang. If you help me and my friends escape. This would require more than one life. This is he must take that very time. serious. A girl likes honor. <laughs> what does he have going on? Like, I'm so confused. If I do this thing, is he just like a religious obey. fanatic or something? Just a random fanatic? I guess. A girl and her friends will walk through the gate at midnight. And why does he talk like like third person? Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> He's oh, like, gotta boy. go. Certain sympathy for odd little boys. You and Varys both. <laughs> Comparing them to Varys. So lamprey pie. Were you slaving away in the kitchen all day? I hear Joffrey plans on fighting. An inspiration for the troops. Fighting to defend the capital against the wicked old rebel. <laughs> He's gonna He's go fight. Boy. He's gonna get his hands the broken. Boys are all <laughs> fighting his war. He's not ready. Remember Jamie at seventeen? Better than you. <laughs> Some men have a gift for this sort of thing. Some don't. His place is not on the battlefield. It's not on the throne either. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that his squire or something? Or his wine guy? 
I'd say you possess above average intelligence. You've shipped off my. What do you call him, Podrick or something? Yeah. And now you want to send my eldest son to the battlefield to die. He'll have his king's guard protecting him. He has the finest armor gold can buy. <laughs> He needs to be out there. The men will fight more fiercely seeing the king fighting beside them instead of hiding behind his mother's skirts. <laughs> right, though? That is so true, too, man. I know, because he be has to prove himself somehow. So or overstated. Because he has thousands of spies. Because he knows everything we do before we do it. He doesn't have a... Neither do you. <laughs> Perhaps I'm dangerous, too. You, on the other hand, are as big a fool as every other man. That little worm between your legs does half your thinking. It's not that little. <laughs> you better, you better chill. Find out. She might find out. Yeah, you better, better chill, chill Darian. Why are you smiling? Because I'm happy. Oh, jeez. Why are you happy? Because I have your little whore. I told you. Consequences. Tell me, have you married this one yet? Oh. Good. Father will be so pleased. Because the Lannister always pays her debts. You stole my only daughter. You plot to have Joffrey killed. This is madness. Stannis will be here in days. You need me. For what? Your skill in battle? Pretty thing. Lovely body. The bruises will heal in time. Varys isn't the only one who hears whispers. Really, a Lannister lion necklace. He's so sentimental. You don't buy them. You only rent them. You're usually a better liar, baby brother. You like her very much. Could it be love? Don't worry, she'll be treated gently enough. Unless Joffrey is hurt, and then every wound he suffers, she'll suffer too. And if he dies, there isn't a man alive who could devise a more painful death. So he has to protect them. How do I know you haven't killed her already? I'd like to see her. This is about to be crazy. I know. I hope it's the wrong girl. This story just keeps evolving. So Cersei I, just took another step towards just being evil again. I just feel like they wouldn't be dumb enough to put a Lannister necklace on Shay, right? He might be. Oh. I'm sorry they hurt you. You must be brave. I promise I will free you. He's acting. That's jacked up. Don't forget me. Never. Why does she go on with it? Because she doesn't really know. Because he's basically pretending it's her to keep Shay safe, but yeah. he don't really care about what happens to her. Well, he does because he doesn't want her. I mean, not he her. cares, but you know. See, but Cersei thinks she's on to something. I will hurt you for this. See, his acting. Will come when you think you're safe and happy, and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. Oh my God! And you will know the debt is paid. Get out. <laughs> This is so sneaky. <laughs> this is evil, bro. Like, Shay! I've been waiting all night. What is wrong? You're beautiful. Then why do you look sad? We have to be more careful. Don't be afraid. I can take care of myself. She really can, Darian. You should see. Hurt me. Yeah, but she can't take care of herself that much. Them. Right. I cut off their faces. I will. I would kill for you. Do you know that? I expect I'll have to before this is over. You're mine. Promise me. I'm yours. And you're mine. Wow. So they like are in love. Her little lion. I thought it was just a whole thing for her to get to King's Landing, but I didn't really know what her motive was. We've sent a dozen ravens. Really? Because I kind of got None the vibe the whole time that she liked him. I don't know why. Hmm. My bastard is only a few days from Winterfell. Theon has my brothers if we storm the castle. He wouldn't dare hurt the boys. There is only hope of escaping the north with his hand. Send word to your son. Any ironborn who surrender will be allowed to return safely to their homes. A touch of mercy is a virtue, Your Grace. Too much. Any ironborn, with the exception of Theon Greyjoy, mm -hmm. oh, he betrayed our cause. You gotta do it, Shake Tubies, me. and you knew it. We will hunt him down, no matter where he runs. Your pardon, my lord. Is that Bolton? Yeah, Vladimir Bolton. <laughs> Vladimir Bolton. How are you? I've had to arrest my mother. Right. The Lannisters have my sisters. The man I considered my closest friend has seized my home and my brothers. I'm fighting a war and I don't know if I should march south or north. I'm sorry. Stressful. It was a stupid question. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I have no we rights. You have every right. You're a king. That's not the kind of king I want to be. That's how relationships work right there, y'all. What kind do you want to be? I Two people know. just... The good kind. Most kings grew up as princes. I was raised to be Lord of Winterfell. I was raised to be a proper little lady. I'd like to hear you play the harp. No, no, you would not. <laughs> <laughs> She's not good. Mm -hmm. How did you go from reciting Valerian poetry to sawing off men's feet? When I was 12, my mother and father went to a wedding. Weddings in Volantis last for days, you know. Volantis. And they left me with my little brother. It was the hottest day in the three-year summer. Every child in Volantis was in the ruin that day. Drummers were playing for coppers in the East Bank. I was treading water, talking to a friend, when I realized I hadn't seen my brother. I called his name. Oh, sorry, this story, I just want to know what's happening, but geez. 
There you go. And then I saw him floating face down. Mm. My heart just stopped. I was, I dragged him from the water. He was so little and we pulled him onto the riverbank and I screamed at him and he was dead, just dead. A man ran over. He had a fish tattoo on his face. Interesting. In Volantis, the slaves have tattoos, so you know what they are without having to talk to them. Aww. And this man worked on a fishing boat. And he pushed me out of the way for a slave to push a highborn girl. That's death for the man. But he pushed me out of the way. Started pressing on my brother's chest until my brother spat out half of the roid. She knows how to drag a story out, don't oh, she? I know. <laughs> the man's at war. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Might be stressed out. I'd be like... <laughs> all right, all right. What happened? <laughs> I decided two things that day. I would not waste my years planning dances and masquerades with the other noble ladies. And when I came of age, I would never live in a slave city again. So that's why she believes in Rob's cost so much. But she doesn't really. I blathered on. I don't want to marry the Frey girl. I don't want you to marry her. <laughs> but you needed that bridge. <laughs> that would suck for a bridge. I know. I hope it's a very beautiful bridge. <laughs> you don't better be like the damn bridge from Thor. <laughs> the Asgard bridge. Absolutely. He's like, I don't know, march north or south or on Talisha. Yeah, he's got some decisions to make for real. <laughs> Is it Talisha or Tal Talissa? Whichever one you decide, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one I decide. I don't remember. Walter Frey's gonna take his bridge back. He really might. Sour cherries is all crushed up and ready. <laughs> he's still talking about pie. <laughs> <Minecraft Minecraft fire. laughs> In the oven. The nice warm oven. Shut up. What did you bring? <laughs> Cheese could be better. To get some nice sausages. What do you want us to do about those guards? Don't say anything about the guards. Oh, well, you left that bit out. That's a pretty important part, don't you think? <laughs> we have to trust him. What is she doing? Harry, don't. Are they dead? Yep. Away! Is that Stannis? Yeah. If the wind holds. We'll reach King's Landing in a day. Will it hold? We can't make promises for the wind, your grace. My red woman can. Mm -hmm. She's gonna conjure up some, some wind spirits. Right. I used to dabble. My born fools call you Onion Knight and think they insult you. So you take the onion for your sigil. Fly the onion flag. He's a troll. Yeah. <laughs> I understand why the older families look down at me. Why? My father was a crabber. Well, sons of lords don't like to break bread with sons of crabbers. Our hands stink. <laughs> But many fought bravely for your brother. Many fought for the Mad King. You defend these men who insult you behind your back. What, some are happy to do it to my face. <laughs> Robert and Ned Stark, they were the heroes. Marching from battle to battle, liberating towns from the yoke of the Mad King while I held Storm's End with 500 men. No one has forgotten. He gave Storm's End to Renly after the war. Renly never fought a day in his life. He was only a boy. So why'd he give him Storm's End? Good question. First we ate the horses, then the cats. Never liked cats. The night before you slipped through, I thought my wife was dying. And then you made it through the lines slip right through in your little black sail boat with your onions <laughs> every man on storm's end wanted to kiss you that night i was relieved they did not <laughs> robert told me to hold storm's end so i held it then he told me he was giving it to renly so i gave it up but now i'm the rightful king when i sit the iron throne you'll be my hand dang you saved him i pray us if you will i expect you'd be the first crabber's son to wear the badge <laughs> facts i wouldn't like people bowing to me like that though joffrey would no man can be in all rooms at all times but they said that Sir Davos brought the red woman on shore because he was a smuggler. Yeah. Yeah. Now is the time to strike. You do understand Stannis Baratheon sails this way? If my uncle Stannis lands on the shores of King's Landing, I'll ride out to greet him. A brave choice, Your Grace. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your men will line up behind you. They say Stannis never smiles. I'll give him a red smile <laughs> from ear to ear. Right. We bet. Not if Arya is in the way, though. Imagine Stannis's terror. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> Y'all are doomed. You're an intelligent man. I'd like to think I'm an intelligent man. I wish we could converse as two honest, intelligent men. I wish we could too. <laughs> yeah, not under Joffrey's rule. Right. If we're going to play, you'll have to start. <laughs> <laughs> They're little games, dude. <laughs> dude, he's one of the best, bro. Varys. I know. Was the youngest king's guard in history. My sister became queen at the age of 19. Y'all breaking records. When I reached manhood, my father put me in charge of all the drains and cisterns. A most high-born plumber. Water <laughs> never flowed better. Never expected to have any real power. So when my father named me acting hand. You're I... quite good at being hand, you know. John Aaron and Ned Stark were good men. Honorable men. But fools. But they disdained the game and those who played. You enjoy 
enjoy the game. I do. Mm -hmm. Last thing I expected. I like to keep playing it. What an admission, though. Like I, know. I was saying earlier. They say he burns his enemies alive to honor the Lord of Light. Oh no. Lord of Light wants his enemies burnt. Where is the God of Tits and Wine? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this morning I heard a song all the way from Karth. Daenerys Targaryen lives. Wow. Who told him? The least of our problems. She has know, three man. dragons. It'll be years before they are fully grown, and then there'll be nowhere to hide. Oh shoot. One game at a time. My yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're yeah. saying, yo, y'all need to come back for like season four. <laughs> we'll be here. Like and subscribe. <laughs> We're in for the whole journey, people. Careful, Khaleesi. Bro, I kind of got chills. That was tough. I know. A thousand eyes watching for you. I found one. A ship with a good captain. She leaves for Astapor tomorrow. Astapor? We cannot stay here. They have my dragons. Not your children. I know they call you the mother of dragons. And I know you love them, but you didn't grow them in your womb. They didn't suck at your breast. They are dragons, Khaleesi. Right. I was kind of wondering that. You should sail to Astapor. I'm sure you'll be safe there. You know I would die for you. I'm sworn to protect you, to serve. Then serve me. If my dragons are in the house of the Undying, then take me there. That's what the Warlock wants. If you enter that place, you will never leave again. This magic is strong. And what of my magic? You saw me step into the fire. What did the flames do to me? Do you remember? Not a thing. Except burn your clothes off. Until my last breath, I will remember. They are my children. And they are the only children I will ever have. Take me to them. We should bury them. I'd leave him off a few more days. Sends a message. We haven't got the damn message yet. A few more days won't help. Look at those guys working hard. The old man. <laughs> Gold for the farmer for his trouble. <gasps> his troubles are done. He's feeding the crops now. His wife too. Oh. You want to keep a man silent? You silence him. Did he just get some hope by seeing Osha? I'm not really sure what that implied. Because it seems to me like Theon just paid off the farmer to kill those boys. Got as far as the farm, then double back. Walk through the stream to throw off the hounds. Hope this would be the last place they'd think to look. You're yeah, right. So far. Who was that out there? Home up at the gates. Must have been the farmer's boys. Man, that sucks. So Bran's all right. Pass them off as little lots. They mustn't know. Bran would blame himself. Oh, he's going to hear it, I bet. The little lads have suffered enough. He looks so much different than the first season. Yeah, though. he's like, growing up. <laughs> that was insane. That was crazy, right? Oh, this show just keeps Where do we better. start? Oh um, which one should we start on? Let's start with these chills I got in that last scene. Okay, go ahead. So um, we're just at a point, man, where, where Stannis is coming. And the thing that really blows my mind is how many people are aware of the idea that everything that goes on in this jacked up world right is all just a game yeah and it's you know and the people Beyond who are poor who suffer those are the people who mock it and make comedy of it you know just like the same guy who had his tongue ripped out that just goes to show why they hate so much yeah like why so many people hate like the people in power hate the people not in power because they can't stand the fact that they're not worthy to play the game and they don't understand the game has to be played and they'll never appreciate what it is to be a player in this game that has to go on to keep some form of order in this world and the people who's not in the game despise the fact that everything essentially is a game and no right. one has any intentions of doing the right thing everyone just wants to like hold their power and it, it really just speaks to reality in mm -hmm. a way you know like even when it comes to like our elections and politics and things of that nature like you know, we all wish that it could be better. We wish it could be done in a more civil way. But the reality is, man, is like we can all hope that as much as we want, but we're all just individuals. And as a collective, we really don't have much control. I mean, we can take control of our individual lives the best we can and control what we can, but we can't control what a society chooses to do. And in real life, man, people play the game. So right. and people suffer for it. And it's just crazy. That was man. a good so, episode. Jump was wild. Rob finally has his girl. They're, they're together. He said he's not going to marry. What's her name? The Frey girl. Which could cause problems. I mean, get over it. Rob's got an army. That's why I see it. Um, so he's obviously really in love with that girl. Um, Catelyn is hell is a uh, prisoner. Prisoner. That that makes me sad, man. Me too. I, I really don't know why she did that. Like they're so far into this war. Why would she send Jamie? Well, because she truly believes Littlefinger saw Arya. Because he he didn't. I guess the thing that you really have to consider is the fact that she is probably at her mental end. Yeah. Before. Dion goes and takes Siege of Winterfell. And then just knowing everything that she knows, man. Um, so much loss she's had so much. She's probably just not thinking straight. And, you know, she's desperate. And the whole theme of the show is how much like a mom can love her kid. Right? right. And so. But my thing was, I thought she would just try to keep Jamie alive. Like I thought Brienne would just keep him alive like away until Rob came back. I mean, maybe she's just sitting there feeling like we might be winning this war and all, but I'm not any closer to getting my daughters back. Right. At the end of the day, I feel like I'm actually further away from that. Like the more we put a stranglehold on the Lannisters, 
the more they're almost guaranteeing that, you know, my family's not going to make it out of this. Right. So that part was a little tough, shaky man. to me. But um, also, it kind of this episode kind of portrayed just how like naive Joffrey is to this war. He thinks like he is just going to walk up to Stannis and yeah. chop him up. Like you, you yeah, so silly here, little, little boy. boy. Goof, yeah. goof. Like that's just silly. That's he has a very naive thinking, mind. Yes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the what's gonna the undoing of the Lannisters. It seems to me is probably going to be Joffrey. You know, assuming that they ever come undone. I don't know how this war is going to go down. Right. If I had to predict, man, I would just have to predict that Stannis is going to lose because uh, I, I I really can't tell. Like, well, really because I'm sitting tell. there thinking in terms of like <laughs> what would upset the masses, you know, because, you <laughs> yeah. know, at the end of the day, HBO writes to show and they want right. the show to be successful. And it's I feel like if Stannis wins the war, they've already set the stakes so high that if Stannis wins the war, like Cersei, Tyrion, all these players are going to have to die. Right. Uh, I mean, right. that's just the precedent. Right. They're set. not going to be able to they just, can't just kill off all the these great characters or whatever. Because yeah. Stannis, I love him as a character, but let's be real, dude. He doesn't captivate the screen like Cersei. Right. Does or I, Joffrey, I don't. So. That, yeah. Like, if you're looking in terms of the show, but if you're in terms of the story, it's just kind of up in the air to me. Yeah. I could be wrong, man. I can't predict this show. Uh, it's hard to predict what I'm even supposed to be predicting sometimes. I know. So. We know Daenerys. Um, is still in the hunt for her dragons and she needs to be taken to that house. But I the guess the house is undying. I kind of wanted to go just so I see is. what it is. <laughs> I guess they don't know where it is. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, because she said, take me there and Jorah doesn't want to. It's really hard to like keep saying what's going on because, because not, it's setting stuff up. Yeah, Everything setting stuff we're up watching is setting episode, something yeah. up. So it's just kind of like, I don't want to say too much because I know it's not going to be correct. And I don't really have a basis for what I would assume right, right. now. So I'm loving the aspect. I'm loving like the dynamic of Jamie and Brienne, mm. you know, together. I think they're because funny. He's annoying. Well, he's so he's annoying. very like insulting to her and she just doesn't give into it. Right. Which I, I love. By the I way. love. Um, I, and I wonder how much it's going to take for her to crack. Do you think she'll crack? I don't know. I, I, I feel like crack. she wouldn't. I feel like she's too loyal. And especially after losing Renly. I don't think she'll crack. Did we talk about Arya? What was Arya doing? Well, Arya was basically trying to get, I forget his name, obviously, because he has such a weird name. Right? Jockin. Yeah, is that Jockin. his name? Jockin, Jockin. But he told, she told him to basically kill yourself. Uh, and he just. Or help them escape. Right, exactly. So she put him in a very weird predicament. <laughs> She's yeah. very smart for that. And so I guess <laughs> that's going to be how she gets out of there. Because I'm sitting there wondering, obviously, how is she going to go from being under <laughs> Tywin Lannister's, Sorry. you know, Supervision to being free again. Well, he's at war right, right now, family. so she kind of is like well, yeah, she's, there. Yeah, she's still yeah. So right now would be her opportunity, right? And that, and that's yeah. what she's doing. So Absolutely. she's very smart for that. She's strategic. Absolutely. All right, guys. We already know we're going to be back with more episodes, and we have two more episodes left of this season. That's crazy. Crazy. Cannot believe that we're almost to the end of it. I'm very excited. We're going to knock these out pretty soon. I think next we are watching The Hobbit. So mm -hmm. if you guys are excited for that, then definitely show that video some support. Mm -hmm. But we haven't filmed it yet, but that is what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to watch that movie, the extended version. We're not going to make that mistake <laughs> yep, again, but we will be again. watching the extended version. I've been sort of putting it off since we started Game of Thrones because I'm so into this story. I kind of didn't want to dive into another one. But at the end of the day, man, it's YouTube. I really got to start getting more types of videos out there. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just only put out Game of Thrones and Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Which is what we've been doing we for the last month. It, so, can't. yeah, we need to start diversifying a little bit yeah. on this channel. We've been seeing that more people want to see us react to different types of things. Because mm -hmm. obviously not everyone on planet Earth enjoys the Marvel and yeah. Game of Thrones. That's all I'm trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man and Game of Thrones. And if we keep putting out the same thing, same thing, you know... We just need to put out something different. Always going to put out this show very consistently. We're always going to get it out 100%. We just want to add. Because we love this show. <laughs> this is a great show. Sure. I, I got to see it to the end. All right, guys. Uh, it's been the Octobers. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Turn on the notifications bell. It helps a lot. And, you know, believe it or not, some of you guys are subscribed. And, and I accidentally dropped a loads. video at 12 a.m. So Yeah, and you guys would have <laughs> never known that. Maybe you were bored and you might not have shared it up on your home screen. Sorry but if you that. have the notifications on, you would have seen it. And you probably would have been tired today. And, yeah, maybe it's a good thing you didn't. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.